What is the tens digit of positive integer x? Statement number one tells us x divided by 100 has a remainder of 30. Well, that's interesting. Let's consider what happens. Suppose we have, say for the sake of argument, a six digit number, a, b, c, d, e, f, six digits. We divide by 100. What happens is all the digits from the hundredth place up, that becomes the quotient, a, b, c, d, and the remainder is the last two digits. Whenever you divide by 100, the, re the remainder is whatever was in the tens digit and the ones digit. And so that means that if x divided by 100 has a remainder of 30, that means x must have been of the form a bunch of other digits beforehand, and then the last two digits were 3 and 0. And so that means we would be able to determine the tens digit of x. The tens digit of x would have to be 3. So this statement by itself allows us to determine a unique answer to the question. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Now forget about that. Statement number two. Statement number two tells us when x is divided by 110, we get a remainder of 30. Well, dividing by 110 is not nearly as neat and clean a process as dividing by 100. Let me just show a couple examples. If x is 470, then if we divide by 110, what we'll get is a quotient of 4, a remainder of 30. If x is 580, we'll divide by 110, we'll get a quotient of 5 and a remainder of 30. So right away, here are two numbers where when we divide by 110, we get a remainder of 30 in both cases, but we have different numbers in the tens places. And so right away we see, knowing that we have a remainder of 30 when we divide by 110, does not uniquely determine the tens place of the original dividend. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is insufficient. Answer choice A.